Rush Limbaugh at the Limbaugh Institute for Advanced Conservative Studies. Telephone number 800-282-2882 and the email address elrushbow at eibnet.com. So began the third hour of today's radio seminar at the Limbaugh Institute for Advanced Conservative Studies, which I happened upon by merry chance simply because my local Ford dealership quickly performed a minor repair on my Fusion Hybrid just in time for me to get back behind the wheel and hear this. This is from the Orlando Sentinel. 36-year-old Jacksonville, Florida man is accused of performing a a sex act on himself while driving south on I-95 near Ormond Beach. Uh, Dawn, you may not want to hear this. I don't know how you can avoid it. Of course, the only way for Don to avoid it is for Rush to stop talking about it, but as the dean of the Limbaugh Institute for Advanced Conservative Studies, Rush decided it was time for some advanced conservative study of sex while driving. He denied performing the sex act. He said another driver who reported him to authorities misunderstood what he was doing while driving, said he was using drumsticks to hit his steering wheel. He's a drummer. He told deputies he's a drummer who commutes between Jacksonville and Daytona Beach. He frequently simulates playing the drums while driving by hitting his steering wheel with the drumsticks. So what happened was a woman from Flagler Beach called authorities at 8 o'clock Wednesday morning and said that a driver, later identified as this guy, was performing a sex act on himself while driving a Chevrolet Astro van. I know what you're thinking. Why has Professor Limbaugh decided to include solo sex while driving in an advanced conservative study seminar? There is a clue in what he just said, a one word clue about where he's going with this. And I'm sure some of his more advanced students caught it. But as usual, Rush is way ahead of most of his students. Notice the advanced pedagogical technique he uses to bring the slower students like me along with him. He slows it down and asks questions. Dawn, a question. If you were driving I-95 and you saw a guy who you thought was... Performing a sex act, would you call 911? Would you call the authorities? Snur- you don't think you'd notice. Now stop and think. Rush, who a moment ago acknowledged that Don may not want to hear this, is now forcing Don to stop and think about it. Now stop and think. This woman, this guy claims he's playing the drums. He's got his drumsticks on the steering wheel. She thinks she's watching a sex act. Snurgly, you're driving along, I-95, next door, a guy or a woman, whatever, you think performing sex act, would you call 911? Brian, would you call? I wouldn't call 911. Now, it would never occur to me. You know how in some college courses the lecture becomes more about the teacher than about the subject? That happens with Rush. A lot. Okay, Rush, you got me. You're driving along I-95. You see a guy, as you put it, performing a sex act. We now know you wouldn't call 911. We now know that would never occur to you. And now what we want to know more than anything else, because this is where you've led us, is what would occur to you. That's what you owe us as a storyteller and a life teacher at the Limbaugh Institute for Advanced Conservative Studies. What would occur to you? Would you try to get a better look at what the guy was doing with his drumstick? Would you signal him to pull over at the next roadside rest area? Would you follow him home? Would you, well, I could go on and on, but you get the idea. That's where Rush led us. That's what we wanted to know, but that's not what we got. Instead, we got another lesson in advanced conservative studies about the auto bailout. That's right. This is a Chevrolet Astrovan we're talking about, and you know who makes Chevrolets, General Motors, and you know who saved General Motors from going out of business, 
President Barack Obama did. And you know how bad it is for America that President Obama saved General Motors from going out of business. And and uh, Chevrolet Astrovan. Oh, by the way, you've seen General Motors news? General Motors is, is now, it's a mess. Uh, it, it's, it's lost more money than what we paid to bail them out. Now, classic. Cla- and you hate it. Nobody wants to see General Motors decay like this. He did not save him. Obama didn't save anything. He doesn't say he will, he will not save anything. I mean, anyway, back to the drumstick guy here. See, yet another example of context is everything. Rush wasn't just talking about a guy accused of masturbating while driving. Rush was using that colorful story to draw his students into a lesson about socialism, a lesson about the auto bailout. He was rewriting a masturbation story into a socialism story. I'd like to see some lefty college professor try that. That's why Rush gets the big bucks. Now, It's true, Rush sounds eager to get back to the drumsticks guy, but that's just because he knows the attention span of the students at the Limbaugh Institute for Advanced Conservative Studies. Rush figures they can take approximately one sentence about General Motors and the auto bailout for every 10 sentences about masturbating in Chevrolet Astro vans while driving. And so he returned to the drumstick guy and smoothly shifted his lecture from the economics of the auto bailout to psychology and the profound psychological question that Rush has obviously spent much of his life contemplating. When is a drumstick just a drumstick? Anyway, back to the drumstick guy here. Well, just sit tight here. If you're just hanging out, I'm going to explain how you drive a car by uh, playing drumsticks uh, on the uh, steering wheel. The woman said she was driving alongside the Chevrolet Astro van in which the guy was playing the drumsticks. She called the authorities. She gave the authorities the guy's tag number, and she followed him until the authorities pulled him over. When a Volusia County deputy approached the Astro van, he spontaneously explained he was hitting drumsticks against his steering wheel as he drove. He invited the deputy to search the Astro van. The deputy did and found two sets of wooden drumsticks between the two front seats. The drumsticks were a natural wood color, and they closely resembled Ayer's own skin color, says the report. The deputy re-interviewed the woman and asked if it was possible that she confused Ayers drumming for a sex act, and she was adamant. She had a clear view of his penis. She stated it was not possible she mistook the drumsticks for his penis. She said she wanted to pursue criminal charges. She completed a sworn written statement detailing what she said she saw. Uh, Now, Rush's last few sentences, in which he got to say the word penis repeatedly on the radio, they were actually taking word for word from the newspaper account, right through the last sentence he just spoke. That was the last sentence of the article. But Rush wasn't finished. He was all caught up in his excitement about drumsticks and wrapped up this particular lesson in advanced conservative studies as he so often does, by telling us much more about himself than he realizes. I've seen drumsticks and I've seen the penis, and believe me, I know the difference, particularly when I'm looking at them in an Astro van driving on I-95. Well, all right then. I guess the next time you see Rush patrolling I-95, trying to look into the cockpits, of Astrovans, now you'll know what he's looking for. <laughs>